And uh, congratulations to uh, uh, to Sonny and SMU. I mean, they're they're eight now, and they find ways to win. It's kind of what their deal's been all year. I think you know, second year in their system, uh, got a lot of seniors, got a lot of guys that uh, have been doing the, the 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 right stuff for them for a couple of years, and it's showing. <clears throat> and I expect that to be us here in the very new future as well. Uh, really proud of our guys, the way they fought. You know. Um, it is what it is. I mean, we just, we, we, we refuse to quit. We refuse to give up. We refuse to not play with effort. Um, really proud of them. Um, it, it sucks. We're three and five with five close losses uh, to five really good teams. Uh, Got to stay the course. And I have no reason to believe that we won't. Um, I hope we have enough bodies to finish the year, but uh, I, I know whoever is out there is going to play hard. And, I'm proud of them for doing that, um, you know, and at some point it, it will turn and it'll be fun once it does. Take a couple of quick questions. Dana, coming out of uh, halftime, you guys were within a, a score and the, uh, the fumble there kind of changed the momentum or at least took away the possibility <clears throat> of gaining some momentum out there. Out of the half. Yeah, you think? Uh, it's not quite what we talked about at halftime. Uh, they had a, a gap blitzer come free, which is just as embarrassing as it possibly can be on max protection. Uh, Tunes got to take care of the ball. Uh, we got it back. You know, the very next pl the drive, we got it back. But uh, it, it might, my, my, the biggest things, the biggest thoughts I have. Two of the turnovers gave them points right away. We had two bad turnovers. I'm, I, we lost the turnover battle three to one. I can deal with that if they're not bad turnovers. Two of them were bad turnovers. And then the second thing is, is, is what was it, three times? We got into the red zone and we had to kick field goals. That's not winning, that's not winning performance either. So I think we did a lot of good things. Um, thought we played hard. You know, but those 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 are the those are the couple of things that stuck out. I thought we played good enough defensively to, to win. You know, holding that 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 offense down like we did didn't didn't muster up enough points on offense, and I knew that was going to be a little bit of a challenge with what we're dealing with. Uh, you know, move the ball pretty good. Um, you, you you settle for field goals in the red zone, you're going to get beat. That's what happened. Coach, uh, when you were looking at them, it looked like you really got Shane Bichelle out of rhythm. Was there anything that you guys saw or anything that you felt like you did to, to really make that happen? I, I, th I think Shane's a really good player. I've, I've competed against him now for, is it four years probably? I mean, it's really probably the third or fourth time that we, we coached against him. He's a good player. He's played a lot of ball. Um, you know, I give, I give our defensive coaches credit and our <clears throat> D-line credit. You know, we – didn't get a holding call all night. I mean, they threw about 300 of them on us, but didn't get one. But the guys, they kept playing, and they're relentless, and they they caused some havoc in the backfield, right? That's how you disrupt quarterbacks. So we got them out of rhythm and, you know, thought, thought we did a good job of that. Uh, what kind of spark did Mulba give the run game tonight? And also, what goes into selecting and kind of picking the games he's going to target to play? Well, our top two guys were out. So, you know, Patrick Carr's out, and you know we had we had smoke green lighted last week, and you know we didn't feel like he was quite ready. So you know Kyle was kind of our guy last week, and you know Kyle kind of wore down a little bit. You, you know if you're the featured back, uh, you're going to get wore down, so you better have backup plans. So we came into this knowing that he was going to be our guy. We practiced him all week. He's got fresh legs, and he and he looked like it. So yeah, it gave us a huge spark. Um, have to be selective on on which one we choose for him. You got one more, because I think we'd all like to watch him play next year. Um, hi, Coach. Um, we've seen the special teams kind of make their mark this season. Um, can you tell us about that trick play that they that took everyone by surprise? Yeah, we we've, we've had it in our back pocket. I, I think I think Blake Gideon's doing a great job. You know, we've 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 done a lot of good things on special teams. That's been available all year and. We had kind of talked about it. We made an adjustment at halftime, uh, and I gave him the green light to to go ahead and do it. So, eh. you get you, 
we've talked a lot about playing complimentary football. You know, special teams gave us another possession, and offense went out there and went backwards in three plays, and we punted. So, yeah, that was fun to watch, but when you don't go out there and capitalize on it, then you're not going to win. So that, that part of it sucks. Dana, uh, your thoughts on just Clayton coming off of the week where it looked like he practiced, I think you said all the all week, and then yeah. I guess you also mentioned the passing game, how maybe some of the big plays hadn't opened up early to get some of those today between him and Stevenson. Uh, kind of a if you take a good good sign from the game, is that is that one of we got we got better in the passing game. You know, we actually got in ten personnel and threw and catch a few of them. You know, so that was good to see. Uh, got a long ways to go with it. You know, I thought he's doing good. He's, he, you know, he, he's when he can't run the way he knows he can run, it, it hinders his performance. And, and obviously you can tell with what we did with him that we're not ready for him to cut it loose. But hopefully he's at a point with this injury that it won't get worse based on what I just saw. And it will continue to get better to where he can be a dual threat guy because he's clearly not a dual threat guy now, but that's what makes him a great player. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you all. Thank you.